So look out. Reddit can be a wonderful, wonderful place. But Reddit can also be a place that's going to come after you and do really terrible things to you if you're not paying attention. Now, I saw this this morning. I thought it was really interesting. This is from Fortune Italiano, Italia. It's the name of a magazine, right? So this is originally published in Italian that has been translated. So as we share this article, you're going to see some of the comments and words and translations seem just a little bit slightly off. But the idea that they're asking this scientist is, does the university still serve a purpose? Or is the university, as an idea of education and learning and getting a better job, outdated and no longer important? Is it still worth going to a university? Fortune Italia asked, in view of the new academic year, an Italian scientist in the USA, Antonio Giordano, founder and director of the Sabaro Institute, I don't think it's that kind of Sabaro, for cancer research and molecular medicine of the Temple University of Philadelphia. Maybe it is that Sabaro, I don't know. Over the years, cultural and therefore also university training has been, according to this scientist, has been tragically replaced by the concept of competence, erroneously considered more usable and usable on the job market. In reality, this step has increased the gap between university preparation and employment. Since the reduction of teaching to a skill factory rather than a workshop of ideas has meant competence by itself, static self, once acquired in the university years, was already obsolete compared to the continuous updating and the impact of globalization, which makes everything more competitive. Now, that's a very interesting quote. And this goes back to what I've said is that business schools now run the majority of universities in the United States. The business school sets the agenda because they have the most donors, they have the most students, because students don't want to be poor philosophers or poor poetry writers. They want to go out, use their university education to make a lot of money. And when you have that change from sharing ideas into what a business school is, a factory of cookie clutteredness and stamping out people to send them to go to Wall Street and work, it changes the entire tone and timbre of university experience. This is why the university is not really obsolete after all. The job market is updated faster than an operating system. And only useless knowledge can save us from a bad interpretation of the future. Not functional to simple actions, but capable of inspiring great ones. Absolute knowledge, knowledge acquired at school, it renews itself. It does its job, which is to help develop the human being, provide them with some tools to progress, break down obstacles and support their creativity. Beautifully said. And this is not coming from an American scientist, this is coming from an Italian scientist who happens to be working in the USA. And that's what I've said. I've said, look, if, if you're a theater major and that's how you understand and comprehend the world, you can go get training in the theater and take those skills that you understand and adapt them and mold them into a career beyond the university that you may not even understand yet. But some parents 
Some vocational programs don't want that. They don't want free thinking, ideas, the application of theory. They want you to get job. Nine five job. Go now. They don't care about the mind or the spirit or the, the morality of the body. Where Giordano, there are no doubts. But, he says, even the university needs to rethink its strategy. He says, it can be said that absolute knowledge wins over specialized competence due to its multifaceted and constantly evolving character compared to the static nature of competence acquired over years without having trained critical thinking and the possibility of modifying it, improving it, to adapt it to the new that advances. Therefore, moving from a factory of skills to a workshop of ideas is the ultimate solution that the school and therefore the university has to interpret reality and dominate it. Slightly convoluted, I think, because of the translation from Italian to English, but you get the idea. The university has to change not to become more business school-like, but more a philosophical and theoretical, because theory training always wins over fact training. Facts change. The truth does not. The volness that has been created, I love that word, V-U-L-N-U-S, the wound, the open sore, the volness that has been created between the university world and the world of work lies precisely in the misunderstanding that a specialized competence can replace the birth of a critical conscience at the basis of the individual's freedom. Anyone who claims that attending a new university is useless, anyone who feels they have to divert young people away from any form of education, pushing them to find a place elsewhere, wants to make them manipulable individuals. Giordano warned. The scientist remains convinced that schools and education in general are the only possibility we have of building a future. Responding to the only market demand needed, new ideas. New ideas that are born only with knowledge, not technique. The technique comes years later. You have to train young people to think, then do it. To do this, attending school, university is essential. Anyone who says otherwise wants to make them into servants. It's beautifully said, beautifully argued. I wish we were hearing a lot more of that from American universities and from the people running them. And now, my friend, it's time for our final blood pressure break of the day. Returning in just a moment. <laughs> 